Hey guys, Novel Bushido here, welcome back to the channel. And today is the first speculation Saturday. Hope I can lift your spirits up today and ride it all the way to the end of the weekend. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Monster Hunter Wild and the next flagship monster. Let's get into it. <laughs> So I was looking online on Twitter and I saw a post, I can't remember from the name, but if I show, if I find it, I'll show it on the screen. And they're talking about what type of monster do you think is going to be the next flagship? And I was wondering about this. So let's go through the list of the type of monsters we have here. I'm going to butcher some names. So I'm just going to shorten them so I don't butcher them on, on this video. We've got Bird Wyverns, we've got Daniel, we've got Tem, Fly Wyverns, the Pision Wyverns, the Carapions, the Amphibians, the Fan Beasts, the Leviathans, Snake Wyverns. Root Wyverns, Fang Wyverns, and we finish off with Elder Dragons. Now let's split them up into two different types. Monster types that have had black ships and monster types that haven't. So we're starting off with Flying Wyverns, as is no surprise. We have Raphalos, Azure Raphalos, Tigrex, Nagakuga, Cerigios, and Asalos. And yes, I'm counting all four of the Deviants as flagships in this list. Elder Dragons, which um, shot up in the Mount of Elder Dragons as we came into 5th gen. Vishala, Valstrax, Nogante, Balkana, and Mount Zeno. Next going into Brutes, we've got Bracodios and Galapagos. Fan Rivens, Zenoga, and Magna Malo. Then we've got Leviathans, Lugaikris, and Mitsutsune. Flying Beast as Gamoth as the only one. And Unknown for Go Magala, which I suppose we don't really know where it fits anymore, if it's Elder Dragon or Flying Riven, but yeah, it's unknown for now, so we'll keep him there. So the seven hour types that don't have a flagship yet and i think it'd be a great opportunity to get a flagship in one of those types and not just throw it into flying Riven or elder dragon i think that kind of trend is kind of done for now so let's look at the list rest of the list and what type of monster we could we could come up with so the rest of the list bird Riven, neo tem persian wyverns capricion amphibians and snake wyverns now I am actually quite interested in Snake Riven as one of the flagships for the next game because we only have really one Snake Riven monster and that's Najarala. Najarala is the only Snake Riven monster in the game and I think it's a shame that we don't have more representation in that field and it would be cool if you can get a Snake Riven as the next monster. Thinking of monster in the wilds, it's kind of hard to, right now to speculate on what type of monster we would get from the type of terrain but if we're thinking from what we've seen, a desert terrain with elemental changes. Maybe a snake ribbon isn't the best pick for this. Maybe it might be something like a bird ribbon. A bird ribbon would be maybe a great addition as also as a flagship for the next game. Now, bird ribbons, we don't have many strong ones. The strongest one we have is Garuga. Yeah, and Garuga is a very strong monster. Um, well, not super strong, but he got stronger the, series, the further the series got. Definitely, um, they actually gave him a lot of reputation when it came to Juju. They gave him a flagship. Not flagship, so they gave him a Deviant, and the Deviant was quite strong. Dead Eye, Yanguruga, um, cool monster, and also they gave him a, a, sub, a special species, a kind of special subspecies back in Iceborne, which was pretty cool with Scar Garuga. It's kind of hard for me to really know what type of monster they'll add, but even one of those two, I'm quite happy with. Amphibians would be cool as well, as we don't have many amphibians, we got um, Zamtros, we got Tetsukabra, we, we deserve more in that type of field as well. So Tem and Neo don't have much in them either, definitely Tem, which we have Narsila and Rekna Kadaki. Maybe something in that area might be nice, I know people might be a bit afraid of seeing a spider as the main monster, but I mean, it would be pretty cool, bit of a change than what we've normally had. And Neos as well, you know, Celtas, Celtas Queen, you know, monsters that are pretty cool, pretty iconic, don't do too much, but, you know, they're quite nice, I do like them. Um, even we got Altakar, which is a fantastic monster, one of the best endgame bosses Monster Hunter's ever had. So, having more of those monsters as well, the, the more tricky, weird monsters, might make for a really enjoyable and tricky fight. And mainly, I, I want them to stay away from Flying Rivens and Elder Dragons at least, and maybe veer away from the rest that we've already had and yeah let's push into these other monsters man I, I think i think it'd be great to get monsters in, in driven zones but let me let me know what you guys think down below um what type of flagship monster do you think we're going to get for the next game you think it's going to be you know snakes maybe we should do a poll about this yeah let's do a poll and yeah we'll see what people think all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys next time see ya